So this is what we're talking about. Remember, direct object pronouns are lo, la, los, and las. And that is how we say it and them when we are talking about an object, okay? So where is my pencil? I have it. So we're talking about an object, all right? So it is replacing the direct objects with the direct object pronoun. So lo, la, los, las means it and them talking about an object. All right, now remember a long time ago we learned indirect object pronouns, me, te, le, nos, os, les, when we put them on the chart. And those talk about to whom a verb is done. To whom a verb is done, all right? <clears throat> now, this lesson is going to talk about those together. Now, we don't ever really have an issue until we have, we have one troublemaker, right? We, we don't have an issue until we try to use le and les. Those two right there. Le and les together with a direct object, okay? Now, let's put an example up here on the screen so you'll know what I'm talking about, okay? We're going to use the example, the waitress served the food to the guests. All right, pretty simple sentence. Let's go ahead and put it in Spanish. La camarera sirvió la comida a los invitados. Pretty straight translation. All right. But now I want to underline two things for you. First thing I want to do is underline la comida. Okay? Because we're going to replace the food with the word it in just a minute. Okay? I also want to underline a los invitados because we're going to replace that with the word les because it's showing to whom it is done, and it's plural, so it's going to be to them, so we're going to use less. And again, if you need to go re revisit these lessons, go back to direct objects and indirect objects in many lessons ago, and you can revisit this if you need to before continuing. But we've underlined those two things because we're going to replace those. We're going to replace la comida with a direct object pronoun, which is la in this case, and a los invitados, we're going to replace it with less, okay? It goes in front of the verb typically, right? Now, this is what it would be in English. The waitress served the food to the guests would become the waitress served it to them. All right. Now, typically, we would replace la comida with la, no problem there, and we would replace a los invitados with the word less, no problem there. But when we put these together, it would sound a little funny. It would be like this. La camarera les la sirvió. That doesn't work. Okay, this, that's a lot of L words in a row, but it doesn't work in Spanish. We have to change this. So in this case, when we're using uh, le or les with a direct object pronoun, we're going to change that le to se. Okay? So it would look like this. La camarera se la sirvió. Se la sirvió. And I know you're thinking, but I thought se was reflexive. It is. Don't worry. It's also passive voice, right? Don't worry. But it is understood in Spanish. Don't worry. It makes sense to them, I promise, okay? Now, let's look at one more example, okay? Now, the man gave the jacket to her friend. What a nice guy, right? Such a gentleman. All right, so the man gave the jacket to her friend. Let's put that into Spanish. El hombre le dio la chaqueta a su amiga. Now I'm going to underline la chaqueta, and I'm going to underline a su amiga. Okay? Then we're going to replace la chaqueta with la again, direct object pronoun. We're going to replace a su amiga, indirect object pronoun, which in this case would be le. Okay, because we've done to her, singular, but we can't say le lo, so we're going to change it to se, el hombre se la dio. El hombre se la dio. All right, makes perfect sense in Spanish. And amigos, that's what we do. Anytime you have le or les with a direct object, you're going to need to change it to se in this kind of situation that I've shown you on the screen today. Okay? 
Keep practicing. I encourage you to start trying to bring these into your conversation because it is used a whole lot in Spanish and it'll help you to start bringing it in more fluidly into your conversation. And it'll also help you understand when other people are using it because they do use this a lot, okay?